Louisiana Beer Reviews, Tin Roof Santeria. Tin Roof Brewing of Louisiana, Double India Pale Ale, Citra Simcoe and El Dorado Hops. They use two-row barley malt, malted oats, and red wheat. Now on uh, Beer Advocate, there's only two check-ins. Rape Beer doesn't have it listed, and on Untap with 575 unique check-ins it gets an 81 which is extremely high so you see it has this bright green label with black trim taped on label adhesive label um, 8.75 percent alcohol uh, I don't think they really use magic <laughs> to get the beer concocted this way they just brewed it but you understand marketing and all that packaged on August 24 2020 10 roof brewing how do you find it well you get if you're on interstate 10 say coming from the west from Texas cross the bridge into East Baton Rouge Parish you'll see downtown and into the city the first exit is Louisiana Highway 30 southbound so take that that's where it starts at Interstate 10, pretty much, and you go south on 30, and you only go about a quarter of a mile, really, and you look to your right between 30 and the river. You can see the levee, and you'll see Tin Roof back in there. They probably have signs saying Tin Roof Brewing. Okay. So it's, it's pretty easy to get to. It's very close to the Louisiana State University campus. There's a lot of new development around there. A lot of old houses being demolished, new houses and housing complexes being built, obviously, for students. New restaurants, new uh, stores. OK, there's a Mathern supermarket right on the LSU campus. Big beer, wine and liquor selection, of course. Thick off-white head here at 8.15 a.m. in a very cloudy yellowish-orange appearance, I guess. More, I guess we say gold, right? That's a cloudy beer. Hazy, opaque. This is the first video review for this beer in the world. Uh, expected aroma, intense hop nose. Now, some people listed this as 75 IBU, all right, but they didn't have any official thing on the website. I don't know what it is. You get that kind of citrus juice, modern hazy IPA nose. Some people call it dank. I don't know if that that would be appropriate for this particular beer um, and a lot of cereal grain oats the wheat the barley so yeah definitely it's like a fruit juice infused cereal also expected flavor lots of pale cereal grain hot bitterness which is going to build as I sip on it Juiciness, fruitiness, I guess you'd say, and a lot of, really that's, it's a, it's a lupulin powder type thing. I don't know if they're adding lupulin powder or, or the hops are being added in a powder form, but it has that, fla that flavor. Kind of a, mm, coagulated grain mouthfeel like you get with this, the cereal, Rough use in the, in the cereal bowl in the milk. Body's high, medium, nearly heavy. Maybe it is heavy. And a dry, mostly dry finish, mostly dry. It's very similar to other double India pale ales that I've had. Very similar. There's a celebrated one from this state. 
David and I did an, a review. We didn't post it. That was a shambles. I thought it was okay. He thought it was just plain bad. He said, what's up with the consistency with this thing? I said, I don't know. It's a problem. It's up and down, and that thing was a mess. This one is really coming across nice. It beats that one bad, you know. That's a much, highly, much higher regarded company. But we decided not to post it. It went on for too long, and um, we had done too many other beer reviews, so it was sort of um, wiggle waggle. But uh, but that's the past. Maybe the future will be better for the next round of that thing. They're saying this one is new and improved. So apparently they had. I was looking on Rape Beer that doesn't have it listed, but they had one called. Tin Roof DIPA, and it was 8.7, and they say it was a double dose of their pale ale. So whatever they did with that one, they, they said they improved it. It's it's nice, it's fine. I mean, I'm not really into this kind of style of IPA, honestly. Um, doesn't really appeal to me. It's not the bitterness, that's not an issue really at all, but it's just, I just don't like the way it comes across, but uh, I can name a bunch of regular, clear, you know, non-hazy IPAs that I, I, I would prefer. I'm not saying they're better. It's a style issue. There's no way you can get around style issue. People prefer different types of food. It doesn't make one better than the other. It makes what you prefer better than what other people prefer, right? I think that's right. But for this style, it's hitting all the right points, I think, more or less. Um, I feel comfortable giving it 94 out of 100, 9.4 out of 10, 94 out of 100, a most excellent product. I've enjoyed most everything, I've, not everything, but most everything I've gotten from Tin Roof. I would like to visit the place one day since it's so easy to get to and everything. So, um, in the state capital. So, Les et les bon temps relais, a most excellent Imperial, they say on their website, Imperial India Pale Ale, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.